And now we may begin to see the Russian response to the uh, U.S. striking of the airbase in Syria on Thursday night, April 6th. Now, responding to Trump's unexpected military attack on Syria, in which 59 cruise missiles were launched and the Russians claim only 23 hit their target, actually that claim is coming from a number of sources now, Russian President Vladimir Putin regards the strikes as aggression against a sovereign nation. And this is according to his spokesman, Dmitry Peskov. And Peskov notes that the president believes the strikes were carried out in violation of international law and also under an invented pretext. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that may be true. The Kremlin spokesman insisted that the Syrian army doesn't have chemical weapons, saying this had been observed and confirmed by the organization for the prohibition of chemical weapons, and that's a special UN unit. The Russian president said he sees the missile strikes as an attempt to distract attention from civilian casualties in Iraq. This step deals significant damage to U.S.-Russian ties, which are already in a deplorable state, Peskov went on to say, and he added that the U.S. had been ignoring the use of chemical weapons by terrorists, and this is dramatically aggravating the situation, in Putin's opinion. The main thing Putin believes is that this move by the U.S. doesn't draw us nearer to the end in the fight with international terrorism, and on the contrary, deals a serious setback to the creation of an international coalition in the fight with it. These are all the words of Dmitry Peskov. Now, the Russian Defense Ministry said that the U.S. missile attack on a Syrian air base had been prepared long ago. And you know that could be true. Following the U.S. military action, Russia decided to suspend its Memorandum of Understanding on Air Safety over Syria with the United States. And this, again, is according to the Russian Foreign Ministry. And that being suspended, folks, could lead to these accidents that I've been expecting, and I am surprised they haven't happened yet, fortunately. Now, spokesman Major General Igor Konashenkov has gone on to say, it is evident that the U.S. cruise missile strikes against the Syrian air base have been prepared long before today's events. A large system of measures of reconnaissance, planning, preparation of flight tasks, and bringing the missiles to launch readiness needs to be carried out to prepare such an attack. And according to Konashenko, the Idlib chemical attack served only as a formal pretext while the demonstration of military force took place exclusively due to internal political reasons. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I believe this is just the beginning of what could become a very perilous situation. Now, many of us have been expecting this, and there are, of course, concerns that this Idlib chemical attack was just a false flag, that it was created as a pretext to carry out these airstrikes to further increase our role and the fight in Syria. And this could be for a number of reasons, as a distraction, as a distraction from Trump's issues at home to actually remove Bashar al-Assad from office even though the administration has said recently that they essentially had no trouble with him. Certainly this is a fluid situation. Things will change here. We need to uh, be vigilant and be careful. Don't be given over to the spirit of fear folks but of the power of love and of a sound mind. We have turned a corner, and it could be, and is likely, a very dangerous corner. And we may not be able to see just yet all the trouble lurking around it. Please hit the subscribe button, and please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Check out the links to my books and music. God bless you folks. This is Jim signing off. I will leave links to this information, and I will see you soon.